Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Friday Night Silliness. Today we are playing Forza Horizon 2 and uh, this is this game is one of the more uh, favorite games of mine that's right up my alley and uh, it's just me today. There's no Talon or Joseph this time so we're just going to hang out here and uh, I tell you a little bit about Forza Horizon 2 but also about Forza Horizon 3 coming up September 27th of this year so right now I'm just gonna kind of show you a little bit of the tutorial uh, you start off as the Lamborghini and uh, this just shows you uh, some of the different controls and uh, like left trigger to brake right trigger to accelerate right bumper to switch camera it's pretty self-explanatory if you're a big fan of racing games like myself you pretty much all probably already know what the controls are since they're basically the same just like any other racing game um, so uh, to kind of set the scene here uh, so basically you just got off the ferry and you play as this avatar and you're with a group of about seven or eight other people or so and your job is to bring all these cars over to the Horizon Festival where all the festivities are being held at. And uh, this uh, festival takes place in southern France, uh, although it does take place a little bit in Italy as well, but it's mostly in southern France. And uh, so we're just going through here and uh, racing our way there. You don't necessarily have to get first place to win, but uh, if you're anything like me, I always race to win no matter what. So, um, uh, anyway, so uh, I think we're tutorial is almost done here. And there's also an achievement that you get. Once you make it past the finish line, and that should be coming up any second now. Uh, so at this festival, you have this guy. His name is Ben. He's sort of the head coordinator slash MC for this uh, uh, Horizon Festival event. And uh, the first thing you're going to do is start off in your career mode, and you have three cars to choose from. Uh, so you have three different cars here. I think the first time I played the BMW Z4, which is this one, uh, you also have the choice of the Camaro or the Toyota Supra. I think uh, for the sake of this video, we're just going to go ahead and race as the BMW. Very nice. And uh, so in this game, there's uh, all kinds of different races, um, roads, weather, traction. Uh, you can also upgrade your cars. Um, also choose from a variety of different designs as well. So um, you can pretty much find out all of this for yourself. Uh, there you can also watch our unedited version of this video to kind of get a more well-rounded view of the game if you want to view that and that's at the end of our video if you want to check that out so um, so what I want to do now is take the time to kind of read this really interesting article that I found in Game Informer. Uh, this is uh, the August 2016 edition on page 34 uh, okay. So, Forza Horizon 3 isn't the first iteration of the series on Xbox One, but it might as well be. The last title made some necessary changes to improve the franchise's off-road and freewheeling formula with more open environments and fun diversions like bucket list challenges, but Forza Horizon 3 has ambitions that outstrip its predecessor. Forza Horizon 2 was at odds with itself at times in trying to open up its world for racers to explore at the expense of the festival's structure. Forza Horizon 3 attempts to bring the two seemingly disparate elements together by putting you in charge of the festival in the continent of Australia. Um, and so I'm not going to read the whole article here. It basically goes on to say that uh, since you're the coordinator for the festival now, you can choose uh, the details, the sites. Uh, you can even 
um, have the option of importing your own music, which is definitely a new thing. Um, and there's also an uh, article goes on to say how uh, in this game there's about 200 cars to choose from. Well, in Forza Horizon 3, you have 350 choose, cars to choose from. So uh, that's also definitely a new thing. Um, there's also uh, all different makes and models. You can also have the option of driving your car through various landscapes, like in jungles. And you can even choose cars to race in certain areas where you normally wouldn't race. Like, <laughs> you can race a Lamborghini in the jungle, but although I don't know why you would want to do that, <laughs> which is a little humorous, but... Uh, now, there is nothing like um, a good road so, trip with your friends, so uh, also in Forza Horizon 3, they use nice cool the presence of your friends to utilize what's called well, drivatars, which are AI versions oh, of your friends. You so, the they say, or this court guy uh, says that the, this game doesn't use AIs. Well, it actually does use AIs, but they're AIs of your friends on your list. So. It's basically like you're racing them, even if they don't have the game, you can race against them and uh, kind of show off later if you want. <laughs> um, and also, uh, this game you can get XP for doing various stunts. Um, you can also get XP for doing things that you normally wouldn't think to get XP for, like uh, crashing over signs <laughs> and doing kinds of uh, comic mischief. Uh, if you wanted and stuff like that, like uh, driving through some guy's crops. <laughs> oh no, my crops! Uh, what are you doing? Uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, that's uh, yeah. So th in this, uh, in also this game, it's a very large map, pretty very much open world. Um, and in Forza Horizon 3, it's even bigger than this one. So I'm not quite sure if it. Use, utilizes the entire continent of Australia, or if it's just a small like part of it. The the article doesn't really go on to say much about that, but uh, certainly if it's bigger than this map, then I'm imagining that it's probably going to be pretty big, which I'm guessing probably will be the entire continent of Australia, which would actually be pretty awesome. Uh, so. Um, so uh, the last little part of the article says how it's one thing to open up your map in the name of freedom but Forza Horizon 3 does more than just offer an environment that is twice the size of its previous games. It gives players the tools to create the kind of experience they want as well as the ability to bring their friends into the fun in numerous ways. This is what Forza Sorry. Festival Actually, is all about. So kind of just wrapping up here um, but that's it anyway but this is a uh, just an interesting article if you want to check that out for yourself um, and uh, there's also a lot of various achievements that you can get playing through the first couple of races uh, if you want to uh, check that out for yourself too so anyway I believe that is actually our video for today so as I mentioned before if you want to check out the unedited version of this video uh, you can do so in the next screen. And if you enjoyed this video, click like and share. Subscribe if you're new. And we hope to see you next Friday. You can take part in all of them while you're here. We'll do one championship at each location, and then the road trip moves on to its next destination.